like the stars that shine at night, Steel has witnessed the history of mankind. And now, the Iron Heart of Steel is beating for a new tomorrow. Welcome to Guangyang Steel Works, the heart of the Korean steel industry. Let's take a look at how steel is produced through iron making, steel making, and rolling processes. The first step in making steel is the iron making process, where iron ore is smelted into hot metal. Initially, iron ore and coal are imported from all over the world and unloaded onto raw materials docks. Before entering the blast furnace process, iron ore fines and coal must be first prepared into a suitable form. Iron ore fines must be agglomerated in a process called sintering, whereas coal must be refined through a process called coking. The sinter and coke are then charged in altering layers into a 100 meter tall blast furnace. At the same time, 1,200 degrees Celsius hot air is injected into the bottom, causing the coal to burn and form a reducing gas. The gas reduces iron ore into pure iron, which at around a temperature of 1,500 degrees Celsius becomes molten hot metal. The next step is the steel making process, where impurities are eliminated from the molten metal to produce crude steel. The molten metal from the blast furnace contains carbon and other impurities. Because these impurities reduce strength and durability of solid metal, removing them when iron is still in liquid form is necessary. A torpedo car transports molten metal from the blast furnace to a steel making furnace called the converter. Here, pure oxygen is injected to remove impurities such as carbon, phosphorus and sulfur in order to make clean molten steel. At this point, the temperature and chemistry of the steel is then precisely adjusted according to our customer's needs. The molten steel is then cast into molds and cooled into a solid semi-finished state called a slab that is ready to be further processed into finished steel products. The final stage of producing steel is the rolling process where the semi-finished steel is pressure treated into various steel products. When a slab is heated to above 1,100 degrees Celsius and passes between rolls, a thin and long steel sheet is produced. This hot rolled product is used widely as a construction material for making pipes and in various other industries. Cold rolled products, which are produced by further rolling of hot rolled products at room temperature, are used in general appliances, barrels, and automobile frames. Coated steel made by depositing zinc on the surface of cold road products is used in high-end appliances, office equipment, and automobile exteriors. Steel plates are thick and rectangular in shape and used in large structures such as buildings, vessels, and oil pipelines. Furthermore, the high mill plant incorporates a technology called compact endless cast rolling mill to manufacture extremely thin hot rolled products used in containers and buildings. As you can see, POSCO steel products are used everywhere in our daily lives and in countless industries that range from the smartphones in our hands to satellites floating in space. Guangyang Steel Works is a world-leading steel works specializing in the production of automotive steel. Being the largest steel works with the most optimized layout, Guangyang Steel Works efficiently produces high-end automotive steel and is equipped with a Taylor Welding Blank Plant for cutting, welding, and molding steel sheets according to the specifications required by automobile manufacturers. The Automotive Steel Processing R&D Center leads the development of automotive steel production and processing technologies. Guangyang Steel Works also operates a production monitoring center that monitors the production process 24-7 and an environmental center that monitors emissions of environmental pollutions in real time. Ushering in a new era of steel technologies with an endless passion for steel. Guangyang Steel Works. <laughs>